Hello, passionate martial artist. I'm here at the uh, Doncaster Dome on the second day of the UK Martial Arts Show. With me is my friend M Mike, uh, whose background is Taekwondo. And uh, when I, you know, when we trained together back in the days, um, you know, he was very, very skinny. And now, as you can see, uh, wow, this is how he's transformed. So I'm just going to ask him what he's been up to since he started martial arts and, and for the last 20 years. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, Afsal? I'm very well, thank you. And uh, are you still teaching, Mike? Yeah, still teaching. Still teaching in the community. Uh, it's my 22nd year teaching in the community now. Wow. Uh, and, and where are you based? In, in Doncaster. Oh, right. Okay. Fantastic. And uh, your students, are they uh, predominantly uh, children or adults? Yeah, mainly children uh, from the age of uh, four up to about the age of 18. I used to teach adults, but now I just mainly concentrate on children. I mean, when we did martial arts back in the day with the Master Heel Show, TAGV, GTI, uh, you know, everybody wanted to be a fighter. But nowadays, it seems like a lot of people do martial arts for confidence. Uh, and how, have you, have you seen the change yourself in the last you know, 20 years from teaching where initially how your students were and how they are now? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time now, a lot of parents come and, you know, they ask and say, look, you know, my child has a lot of confidence issues. Are you able to help with that? So if, if you've got a young, a young child there that's quite shy and reserved and struggles with confidence, obviously martial arts will then try and help them, uh, you know, come out of the shell a little bit, give them a little bit more confidence. Then on the flip side of that, if you've got, a, a, you know, um, a young child there that's quite um, energetic, quite hyperactive, maybe a bit full on, as I put it, um, it has a tendency to... Uh, to, 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 to calm them down a little bit, especially if they're a little bit on the aggressive side as well, yeah. suffer with anger issues uh, or, or behavioural problems, it tends to channel their aggression in, in the right direction. Right. Okay. And, and how has uh, martial arts transformed your life or changed your life? Oh, massively. I mean, I've, I've been training martial arts now for, for 33 years. As you know, I've been at it a long, long time now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm, you know, I've decided to... Uh, um, to, to put my, my whole life into teaching now and, and I've been doing that for uh, you know for, for, for 22 years uh, that's fantastic I mean as a martial arts instructor I know life is not easy life throws you in so many ways but for you to carry on doing what you're doing for this long I mean it's just inspirational inspirational carry on doing what you're doing and uh, thank you very much and what kind of message would you like to give to people you know who are possibly bullied or who are reluctant to start something like this or any kind of sport to kind of boost their confidence yeah you know just just stay positive I mean the, the, the key is 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 to be consistent yeah. you know consistency you know you know make sure that you you know you're training hard yeah. uh, you always put as much as you possibly can in, into what you're doing you know mostly one of the most important things is to listen to your coach yes. you know the key is to listen to your coach I mean we are we have a what we call a, um, a club code as well um, where when a young kids come in and say it's quite easy in order to achieve yes. you know we have a club code called the LLP which is um, listen learn progress Progress. If you listen, uh, then obviously you're going to be learning. If you're learning, then you're going to be progressing. You know, you're going to be grading. You're going to be getting your belts. You know, so that you know, as long as you you live by the code of LLP, listen, learn, progress, you'll be absolutely fine. That's amazing. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.